I think there's a topic and then there's a follow up topic. It's um, is Caitlin Clark the Tiger Woods of college hoops? In other words, when she goes away, will it return to the kind of niche sport that has its fan base but is largely ignored, doesn't move the needle? You know, when when Tiger was in golf, it was at its it's uh, you know it was at its peak in popularity. He hasn't been in it. He's had respites, and, and the popularity of the sport wanes. Um, is Caitlin Clark the Tiger Woods of college basketball? Dan, you want to go first? In in the aspect of the groundbreaking efforts of both of these athletes, I just find very few that could ever match what Tiger is doing. So to Jason, what Jason is saying is, does golf fall does college women's college basketball fall off like golf ratings did when Tiger was not there? That's that's the question, right? Because yeah, I, I mean, think Tiger's being one barometer. Yeah. yeah, Tiger like Tiger generational what what he meant um in society in, with, with that specific sport as well. I think there are just so many levels that that change that make it that just there's really no way you can ever have another Tiger Woods. I would say this. I do think that numbers will go down, but I do think it will overall have a boost. Tiger was around so long for us over a decade and a half, two decades of dominance, where when he was gone, you just kind of thought, oh, that's what golf is, is with Tiger Woods. With this, I think it's a small enough window that there is now interest in the sport and we are wondering who's next. And we think that there are next people. Juju Watkins, Hannah Hidalgo is a name of players that are, are next. I don't think that was ever the case with Tiger Woods because of just how enormous he was. It was impossible to have a next Tiger Woods because of his success, because of his uh, length of, of playing and just everything that came around him. So I think it's tough to match I, what has I, happened. I, I, I've... I've been on this earth long enough to remember 90s hockey. 93, I was at Lake Havasu when Wayne Gretzky was in the Stanley Cup Finals with the LA Kings. The Kings lost that series four games to one. Right, Marty McSorley curved stick. Yep, yep. So I, I'd never heard, I didn't know that they measured the curved sticks. That was that, I was that many years old when I found out that. Um, since then, the LA Kings have won, I think, multiple Stanley Cups. And nobody outside of hockey fan cares. Right, I'm telling you, we've been here before. It's, it's, don't, this is post. This is like when you build up like World Cup soccer, post World Cup soccer, women's World Cup at the Rose Bowl. Right, Brandy Chastain takes up. They're like, oh, we got a women's pro league. How many years did it last? Right. I just, this is a very unique thing. And it's cool. It's very unique. And we kind of went through it yesterday. It doesn't hurt that she's in, in Iowa. Doesn't hurt that she's she's been there for four years, so she sets these records. Uh, it doesn't hurt that she's, that at least appearance of girl next door, right? Boyfriend who's a former basketball player in the stands. I, I'm Just reality. And the LSU thing helps. They got kind of the super team as well. Remember, Angel Reese is going pro. I know Juju Watkins will be around. I know Paige Beckers has come back. But UConn's been good for the last 20 years, right? And no one has cared. And when I say no one, please, women's basketball fan, don't give me the numbers. They, they've Brianna Stewart is, by most, I, I'm, I don't liken myself to a women's basketball uh, expert. I love basketball. I can watch a basketball game and tell you what I think. But I don't have the, the depth. But if you ask People in college, women's college basketball in the NBA, WNBA, like who's the best? They'd be like, Brianna Stewart's probably the best. Did we make any sort? Was there any sort of hype falling? I'm like, no. So I think it is way more likely we have a return to normalcy next year. And normalcy, I mean, look, there's, there's UConn's going to be good. We'll see what happens with LSU. Iowa's going to obviously see some form of a drop off. And I just, Juju Watkins is going to be good until she goes pro. I just fail to see that this is going to be sustainable uh, because the men's game, now the men's game has helped it because you can't name a player, with the exception of the Purdue guys, everybody else switches teams every year. 
But I think even the, some of that will stabilize because people see the success of teams that bring back their players. There's going to be a high recidivist rate at the for the top level teams. So, and and by the way, Duke next year is going to have Cooper Flag. He's going to get all the hype. That's Zion Williamson on steroids is Cooper Flag. I'm so glad that you used hockey as your first first example because I always use hockey as an example in this. Because to to stop the people at the door that were hating on women's sports, or this is some kind of racism thing, I take hockey as the example. I, too, in 1993, my interest peaked in 1993 because everybody else was into it. And then it just became a sport that I'm not interested in watching, and I'll never watch. It's a niche sport with a, a rabid fan base. And I think that that's a perfect example that when she walks away after this tournament... I think it'll just kind of return to that. We've had a in, really nice sport that in, has a big in, fan base. In our lifetime. Sam, how old are you? 37. Okay, so probably somewhere within your In our lifetime, okay, we've had the hockey expansion, overexpansion. We've had the NASCAR. Remember when NASCAR expanded, right? Um, we've had women's soccer. Just men's soccer. Sport of the future. It's been the sport of the future my whole life. Right? When is this future? You know, I guess when we get flying cars, which we seem to be close to, <laughs> then soccer is going to be one of the big four sports. The yeah. Midway. It'll be easier to not go to soccer games when you have flying cars. Tiger Woods. And obviously, I, th- I feel like I'm, I'm more sensitive because of my love of golf. Yeah. I'm just on, on what but he means. But he's one of one. That's what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, he is, he is one of one of, of one. Like, he truly is. There's also the fact of... Tiger was around long enough to compete against the generation he inspired. And I don't know. I think that Caitlin Clark is going to inspire kids of this generation. But was this window too short to do so is my question. Does it carry over? Does it? I know that there are more kids probably interested, more girls that are interested in basketball and watching Caitlin Clark. How long does it last? Because Tiger had a good decade to be able to do this. I mean, you talk to a guy who's, you know, 32 years old or whatever, and it's the same thing as someone who's 10 years younger than him. They're both, you know, Tiger Woods was our guy. Does Caitlin Clark have that sort of impact? What, is, are you saying, though, that so she if she got to, like, four straight Final Fours, it would have made a difference? No, no I'm it's, saying it's because it's only been two years. Short a window. It's like two yeah, years of a window. Yeah, yeah. Tiger Woods is like a 20-year window. LeBron James is like a 20-year window. And I'll say this to Dan. And what we're talking about, I think, is like a transcendent athlete. Michael Jordan. Transcended their sport. Michael Jordan. Or Magic and and Bird. And I think uh, you're talking about the women's soccer, national soccer team. I think it spawned an entire generation of like feverish uh, interest on the youth level. I think women's sports right now in the travel ball is just like more popular than ever before. Now, I, 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 I let me let me back up something I said yesterday, and I, I honestly think this is a bigger deal than anyone else. No one else will talk about it. So I'll talk about it. the fact that she's straight, and I'll, I'll tell you why. There are a lot of former basketball players who send their daughter and to play volleyball. Like, I know seven or eight former NBA players who I have a friend whose daughter is a high-level volleyball player, and he's like, dude, I was at this volleyball event in Kansas City, and guess who was there? And there is, and again, I'm I'm sure I'll get labeled a homophobe for saying it. I'm not. I don't. My own children's sexual orientation, I don't care about. It doesn't affect me. Um. But I do know that there are a lot of there are people that are former athletes that view women's basketball as, hey, and if if you're straight, it's not a comfortable environment once you become a professional and like volleyball is not like that. I think this changes it. It's like, oh, yeah, I mean, Kelsey Plum just got married. Right. I mean, she's there's a lot more straight girls playing basketball. And again, I'm not saying there's anything nefarious about being homosexual. But I do know that there are plenty of people who have athletic daughters that have a choice. It's the same reason, like, why don't we have left-handed quarterbacks? Well, because most most parents who have a left-handed kid, they have them play baseball, not play quarterback. Doug, can I can I jump in here? Yeah. So 
I hear what you're saying about gay versus straight, but when I watch Caitlin Clark, and I think a lot of like young people relate to this, to me she just reminds me of this sort of like little sister tomboy, you know, chip on her shoulder. That's what makes her so popular. Yeah, girl so next door. I don't even think about whether she's I know, I know into you, men or I, women. I, I, know it's like you, I know you don't. Okay. Tomboy. I know you don't. Big I'm, sister or little sister. I'm just telling you, like, yeah. okay, so sure for some. So, okay, so she's some, taking. Well, no, especially former athletes. Okay, former athletes. Now, look, I I dated a couple of girls bas- women's basketball players when I was in college. Okay, so like I know like not all girls in college are gay. Not a mom are straight. Like I I'm, I'm fully fully well aware that a lot of it is perception, not necessarily reality. I'll tell you the other thing that's going to really hurt women's basketball is the Olympics are this year. And you're like, why would that hurt? Because it's right in the middle of their season. So you're gonna have this season where she plays for the fever. It's kind of going to get overshadowed by the Olympics and like women's basketball in the Olympics is never really. Have you ever watched a women's basketball game at the Olympics ever? I, I will though. Now. No. Have you ever? Uh, No. Okay. So you're saying you will, but the reality is like, will you? But I think it will change. Maybe. Can Ma- I- maybe. Let's, let's see. Like there's a lot more competition now. You know, a lot more competition can, and I'll be interested. Yes. Can she do the big three, the WNBA and the Olympics? She can't play in the big three. Why? Because you can't play. It's it's not. All right, all right, all right. I mean, Kenyon Martin is right. Like, there, it's not that would that would that would that wouldn't, I, that wouldn't I, serve. So why, her I well. would actually think it'd be more difficult it in will. a half court situation. It, no, it will. That's what Kenyon Martin said. Like, you, there's nobody. There's nowhere to hide. So, is, like in a five on five game, you can move around. She can hit some threes. She can move around, so yeah. and maybe you can protect her defensively if you have like rim protection, whatever. Is Ice Cube just throwing away money then? If he's no, offering well, her five he's, million, he's trying to. Is this no, a publicity stunt? Yes. yes. Yeah. So he's just paying five million f- to get people's. He's not eyeballs. paying anything because she's not going to play. Uh, okay. Well, but what if she takes him up on the offer? It's a lot of money. I'm sure that it'll get covered. It's a lot like the Dodgers and all that money to Shohei. It's going to get covered by sponsors. Anyway, uh, so, okay. So best guess, D- Dan Byer. Uh, um, what 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 does next year look like? And the next couple years look like in women's college basketball. I think that there will be a residual effect, and it will be. Uh, up to those other young players that we mentioned, the Watkins, Hidalgo, and Beckers, to try to carry that torch, but in no way is it going to match. We were even talking about it yesterday. Of Could Iowa-South Carolina national championship game break LSU-Iowa? No, it won't. It won't. Not, not with because of everything that LSU brought to the table and everything that Iowa brought to the table and what had been simmering for almost a year, that was the culmination right. of it. You're right. Um, so of that build up, so I think it's it's even go, it's going to be it's going to be difficult, but I just hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't fall off the the, the face of the earth like maybe hockey did. I know that's a little harsh with hockey. I will also say this with the Caitlin Clark and relationship stuff. When she was beating South Carolina last year and playing Ellie, I had no idea if she was straight or gay or not. I, I had I understood. So, and, and, it, and it doesn't. And I know it doesn't matter to you. I'm not saying yeah. it ma- matters to us. I'm saying there is a percentage of people, especially, again, in, in terms of the future of the sport, there's a lot of dudes I know who are former athletes who have talented daughters. And in the past, they're like, eh, eh, eh. right? I'm just, again, being totally candid. And there's some, I'm trying to think, somebody said that in an article in the last year or two that talked about that with their daughter. Uh, Jason Stewart, your best guess what does women's college basketball look like after Caitlin Clark? I think I'm only going to go by me. I think I'm I'm a, a pretty good barometer because I, the, I've only watched one women's game from start to finish in my entire life, and that was Monday night. And I think I'm going to go back to not watch it. And that so if if you're talking to me, which I think I do represent, I kind of like the, this fringe of of people yeah. that have come yeah. into college. Yeah, you're the main sports. you're the mainstream sports. I fan. think it goes away. I think yeah. it goes back to what it was. Uh, I was Sam. I think it yes, it, the the attention tapers off. But I will say this: it's it's not just about Caitlin Clark. 12, 15 years ago, when UConn would face off against a Baylor or whoever at Stanford in the national championship game and Colin, Colin I'm stealing Colin Coward's take here which is, I think is really good there is more parity now in women's college basketball than there was 15 years ago there's still not a lot there's still a lot of have nots but a team like Iowa with a superstar like Caitlin Clark uh, uh, from a conference that hasn't won a national they, they, championship they, they, since they 99 don't, they don't want to go and sit it they don't want to go and sit at UConn UConn, UConn 
dominating year after year they don't is want good to, for them, and, not and, good for and, the sport. And, and Tennessee, yes. Just yeah. Yeah. I will also say that it's not Colin Coward's take because we have talked about this no, okay. for weeks. Well, well, okay. You just came new to the show, but it's well, it's been, a conversation the of the depth of the women's weeks, game yeah. over the last 10 or 20 years. It's okay. Colin listens. It's okay. Um, we all we all <laughs> calls me for take. reprocess uh, each other's what? takes here. Um, no, no, not we all. Some. Okay, Doc. Yeah. I'm just There's, being honest. For a lot with of you. things, we just I, come to the same conclusion on things. No, I. But that, I, that, I that, yeah. that that that's that's true. But you all, you just said we all repurpose others' takes. I, we all do not because I do not. There's pride in this program, though, specifically with college basketball and the discussions that we've probably yeah. had over the last, you know, two months. Yeah. You know that just no, we've don't been, happen we've been, anywhere else. We, we've been we've been following it. Um, so in here's your face, my, Iowa Sam. Here's my prediction. Here's my prediction. I, I I know. Here's my prediction. My prediction is the slide will not be as rapid as it feels, but there will be massive negativity towards it. Okay, and this is this is I I, I actually agree a little bit with the LSU ladies. Okay, because what you'll get from people is like, why is ESPN throwing women's basketball? Why are they pushing it? And they do. They 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 promoted it even before Caitlin Clark. They promoted it. Why? Well, because they have the tournament, right? They show hockey highlights. The metrics say you should not show hockey highlights on sports. And why do they do it? Because they have NHL rights. And what that hap- what happens is when you start force feeding us things that we don't really want. Now we turn negative towards it, even though it is more popular than it's been. So I don't think the slide or the, will be as great. I also I think the Olympics are going to hurt it. And I also think the fact that the next superstar is Juju Watkins, and she's on the wrong coast. It doesn't work in L.A. I know they're getting stars to go to her games, but they're too late. Now, going in the Big Ten will help some, but it's too late at night. Yeah, I, I think there's a, some, I, there's a precipitous decline in viewership in the next couple of years because Clay, Caitlin Clark is a one of one. It's the timing of it. It's how she plays. It's the, the team that she plays with, the coach that she plays for, the way in which they've managed it, and the fact that LSU has rightfully played the villain. And then, oh yeah, by the way, there's a super talented and well-coached South Carolina team waiting for them as well. Give us, your, give us your thoughts at Gottlieb Show on Twitter or X, whatever they call it, and on the Gramp.